It's 1.30 in the morning, everyone, but I just read one of those kind of posts online where you just got to get out of bed and test it yourself because it's kind of amazing. So the posters, Geotech and Hobo and some others were talking about how in the 60s, uh, certain metal detectors were advertised to uh, actually be able to detect uh, paper money. So Geotech posted that the reason for that is that there's actually iron in the ink. So really quickly, I just wanted to get up and take one of my big neodymium magnets and uh, just test this out and see if there actually is iron in here. And as I bring it, yeah, there's definitely... If you get it within about a half or a quarter inch of the paper money, it's definitely attracted to the, to the money. Can't quite pick the whole thing up yet but it's close. So let's give it a try on the detector. Now in the forum posts they were talking about uh, BFO detectors and I don't have one with me. In fact maybe my pinpointer is I'm not sure about that but I don't actually have it here. Uh, but what I do have is a Fisher Goldbug 2 which is a VLF detector so let's give that a try. Alright so here we have uh, the Goldbug 2 metal detector and for those of you watching who are unfamiliar with this, this is one of the most sensitive VLF detectors on the market. Uh, right now, it runs at 70 kilohertz, so it's really sensitive to, to finely uh, disseminated um, targets, which I'm guessing is kind of like the iron that's in the ink on these bills. So let's give it a try. First, I'm just going to try one bill here. Uh, and I'm going to turn this on exactly where it was, where, where I was last detecting. I don't know if you can hear that. There's a little bit of a threshold on there, so I'm going to turn that down just for the purpose of this video because there's people watching who aren't used to metal detecting so anything that makes a noise now is going to be a signal so let's um, one other thing I should explain this detector is actually sensitive enough to pick up the uh, salt or anything conductive that's in my hand or my skin my blood anything so you can hear there that's what a target sounds like and it's picking my hand up so what I'm going to do is this is how I'll hold the bill and I'm just kind of going alongside the coil so you can hear that it's not making a noise with my hand there. And I'll put the bill in the hand. And it's basically touching the coil there. And it is making a slight little blip. But like I said, uh, this I turned it on just how I had it. I haven't ground balanced this machine. Let's see, we're in low mineralization, uh, audio boost, full sensitivity. Let's turn the ground balance all the way to the left. Now let's try it and see what it does. It's almost like a hot rock signal. So let's try a whole, there's a hundred dollars, there's five twenties. Quite a bit stronger signal. Now out of curiosity, let's go ahead and turn the ground balance all the way up. Okay. So I'm a good half inch away and it's, I'll let you listen to this so, without talking. It actually is giving a signal about a half inch away. Let me try to turn the camera to the side here so you can see. I, I'm going to have to keep this far enough back that it doesn't interfere with the coil though. Let me try to go from that side there. Yeah, so what do you know? That's pretty interesting. It actually does give a signal. You can detect paper money on a metal detector. So I should be sleeping, but I got curious and I had to try to test uh, the conductivity of this ink, which uh, it isn't conductive. Or if it is, it's just uh, it's got a coating on the outside or it's not continuous enough uh, in the printing. You know, if you look closely at that, there's actually a little uh, scrimshaw. I don't know what the term for that is. Little holes in the printing pattern and uh, anyways, but I did find something else interesting uh, as far as official government ink goes. This is a new passport. And can you see that? I'm not sure if you can see it from that angle. I'm not going to open this, obviously, but it actually is uh, magnetic too. And I tried this, is a new style passport, and my uh, older passport isn't magnetic. 
And then as I did that, I started thinking, man, there's probably some new kind of security device in there or some kind of little uh, RFID tag or a chip or something. I probably just totally ruined my passport. But <laughs> Oh, well. Oh, yeah. There's something in there. <laughs> and it's nothing I put in. I can sleep now, so I'm going to bed. Thanks for watching. Good night.